to those composite scores, not the individual item scores. So if you had an item, if you had a test with five items and you summed each person's scores across the five items, you would have a composite score for each person and internal consistency reliability is about those composite scores. How reliable are they? So what does the formula look like? There's, there are a few formulas uh, for Cronbach's Alpha and this is, the, in my opinion, the most insightful one, the most accessible one. And what it is is it's a ratio. It's the ratio of something good and something uh, that is the total variance associated with your composite scores. So in the numerator portion of the formula, you have k, which is the number of indicators or the number of items. And you also have r bar, which is the mean of the inter indicator correlation. I could have used the word item here, but internal consistency reliability can be applied to composite scores that are based on the sum of things that are not items. They could be subscales themselves, or they could really be almost anything, as long as they're positively correlated with each other. So there are two key elements here, the R bar and the number of items. And that's multiplied together. And so that, that really reliability is about those two characteristics of a scale, the number of items and the correlation, the average correlation between those items. This formula here is actually a standardized Cronbach self. I'm just noting that as a technicality. Uh, so it's standardized because it's based on the correlations. You can calculate Cronbach's alpha on unstandardized data like covariances rather than correlations. But I think this is the most intuitive way to think of uh, Cronbach's alpha from a formula perspective. It's simply the items, number of items multiplied by the average intercorrelation amongst those items divided by the total variance in the composite scores. And that's why people call it the ratio, a ratio of true score variance to total variance. So let's look at an example. Here I have a five item scale. And you can see that the correlation between item one and item two is 0.35. And item one and item three is 0.42. And all the correlations are positive uh, in direction. And they're all small to moderate in magnitude. This is a very typical correlation matrix that you might get from a five item scale in the behavioral sciences say. And so if I wanted to estimate the reliability associated with the composite scores for these five items, if I calculated, uh, summed the scores for the five items across say a hundred people, I would use, I could use the standardized Cronbach's formula. And in this case, the average correlation works out to 0.346 and the number of items is 5. So I've got 5 times 0.346 and I've also got the denominator of the formula. So that turns into 1.73 divided by 2.384 and I have a reliability estimate of 0.73 for these data. So I could say that 73 percent of the variance in the composite scores associated with these five items is reliable variance. Is that a good thing? I'll get to that in a minute. One thing I want to point out, and this is to emphasize the impact of the number of items that you have in your scale on internal consistency reliability as estimated by Cronbach's alpha, is this case here where you have someone with a 60 item scale and the average inter item correlation is really quite low, 0 0.07. What would the Cronbach's alpha estimate be based on those two uh, pieces of information? Well, if I solve the, f the formula, it works out to actually 0.82. That's quite high. 82% of the variance in the composite scores is considered reliable variance. And this is true even though there's quite a low correlation, average correlation between this, the items in this fictitious example. I haven't produced the correlation matrix, but there's 60 items. And so it's important to consider that the number of items in a scale has a pretty big impact on the estimate of reliability. And I mentioned here it's actually a positive nonlinear effect because you get a rapid increase 
in internal consistency reliability as you increase the number of items from 2 to 10. And then you get a steady increase from 11 to 